off by, by uh, <laughs> a guy in the audience thanked me for having you on. I, uh, I, I should start off by congratulating, congratulating you. You were on the show last March. You were pregnant. Since then, you've actually had a baby. I did. I had a little boy named Eric, and he's adorable. Wow, because you look great. You're in great shape. Now, was this because you were, uh, when you were on the show last time, you were talking about how being pregnant, the hormones were making you kind of go crazy. Did that actually get worse as you got closer to having the baby? It, it did get worse. In the, in the last month, I would just, I cried all the time. You know, you get really emotional. Your hormones go crazy. Uh -huh. It was sad. <laughs> it was sad. I was in the grocery store, and one time I just broke out in tears because I was overwhelmed at all the choices. <laughs> <laughs> so many good products. But I, normally, I'm not, a big, I'm not a big crier, so, you know. Well, I don't I think many people burst out in tears yeah, at a supermarket so, over so the choices. that was strange, so I'm, I'm glad that part of it. Over. Uh huh. Did you have like weird dreams? Some women have really strange dreams when they get pregnant. I, I did have one very strange dream. I dreamt, um, I went to bed, I was very angry at Eve, thinking that it was all her fault that women experience this pain and labor. Mm -hmm. And um, I was <laughs> anticipating the labor and getting a little fearful. Everyone tells you their horror stories. Mm -hmm. And um, I dreamt that all of a sudden God said, okay, let's see how you would handle it. And I was put in that situation, and I was her, and I saw the, the slithery thing coming towards me, and I thought, fine, I'll just I'll walk away from it. It'll be okay. But I, I froze. I uh -huh. just froze, and I, I couldn't move. And it was very humbling. I just I woke up, and I just felt like, okay, I forgive you, Eve. I probably couldn't have wow. done any better myself. That it was sounds strange. like a rock video, was, the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was weird. But, right. You know, I probably couldn't was have done Was Sting in there anywhere? No. No. Okay. The, uh, now, you, you had, was this actually a difficult delivery or was it a piece of cake because some every woman has a different story yeah it was it was a bit tough that my pregnancy was really easy i didn't throw up or anything so i was really happy about that but mm -hmm. um other the, people the were happy the labor too. part yeah. was tough and i used to think i was really strong and it wouldn't be that that hard but yeah how, how long a labor did you have 18 and a half hours 18 and a half hours yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's yeah. actually the length of the ken burns baseball documentary <laughs> 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 exactly so, but everything's fine now. The baby's Perfect. fine. Perfect. He's great. He's a lot of fun. And I actually, I saw you on, uh, since you were on the show, you've been on Melrose Place. Mm-hmm. Now, you were actually, on that show, you were playing, I was surprised, because you were playing a villain on the show. Yeah, and you, your not. voice is so sweet and innocent that you were saying things like, I'll kill him. <laughs> I'll put him in the ground. Was that, uh, was that the part you wanted to play? It, it was fun. I, I really, I like the script. I like the character. You know, it's fun to play somebody like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. She, uh... She's uh, in prison at the moment, but... Um. <laughs> <laughs> Which means, does that mean, is that their way of saying you're, you're not on the show right now? Or do you actually well, get filmed in prison? I, um, I signed on to do four episodes. So I, I did my four episodes. And, and then they and put I'm you in, in prison? I'm in prison, yeah. <laughs> is, there any, is there any script or anything where you break out or something uh, and start going on a killing rampage? Po possibly, possibly. You know, maybe I'll get out for good behavior. I don't know. Did you like working on Melrose Place? They didn't actually, I think your character didn't have to live in that crappy little apartment building yeah, that everyone up. else has to live in, right? <laughs> it's like all these 10 beautiful, really successful people that live in this really dingy apartment complex. They all hate each other, but none will move out. <laughs> it's the most... It's rent control. It's rent control. So it's like, I hate you, I hate you, Amanda, but I'm going to live next door to you <laughs> in this cheap $200 a month apartment. Yeah. But where did your character live? Away? I on lived a on Jake's boat. Yeah. Oh, very cool. It was a nice boat. No, uh -huh. I, I ended up blowing it up, but... <laughs> you blew, it was a nice boat, but you blew it up? Yeah. Is that why you went to jail? And I, I killed um, Amanda's father. Too. Oh, well. <laughs> that and blowing up a boat. Yeah. Bad thing. <laughs> Tell us about the, uh, the exercise video. The exercise so video was a lot of fun. It's, um, it's, Eric was kind of my inspiration to get back in shape after I had him. Mm -hmm. And, um, and putting, to, putting it together was great. We've got great music in it. And for me... I need to get motivated to mm -hmm. exercise, and um, don't you actually? I mean, you were a, a model for such a long. Didn't you exercise all the I, time you were I modeling? I did. I did a bit, but um, I did. I did a lot of sports. Women are women are going to hate you if you say I never exercise. <laughs> well, they'll get. They'll, hopefully, they'll get inspired by this. This guy um, named Ollie Brown. He composed all the music to this, and it's got a great beat. It's a lot of fun. Um, a lot of the people in the video are wearing uh, my new line of activewear with Kmart, which we tested in the process That's of doing cool, the video. That's cool, because I have a new line of activewear with Kmart. Yeah. Oh, oh great. Oh. Well, maybe you'll be in my next video. Okay. Right. 
So, so that all went fine. And it was fun. I, I had never done um, aerobic type exercise before. I had been in two aerobic classes, and one of them I was asked to leave because I was just <laughs> all over the place. I've always done a lot. What do you of mean sports. they? At, they th you were, you got thrown out of an aerobics class? Well, not physically picked up and thrown <laughs> out, but you know. I didn't know they had bouncers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They take it very seriously, but I wanted to do something for people who um, maybe aren't all that necessarily coordinated. They could, they could keep up. I'm, uh, and, um, <laughs> I'm there. And when I had Eric, uh, one of the things is when you have a new baby, you just can't take off and ride your bike and, and do mm -hmm. all these things. I, I want to be with him. And um, my, my mom is, uh, is in it. My you put your mom in it? I just had one it. idea. I think exercise videos should have plots. Do you think they should have plots? Yeah, because it's always celebrities just doing jumping jacks and stuff like that. I think that they should put plots into them. Someone should do, you know, exercises for like five minutes, and then someone should get murdered. And then, I just think that would make the video just that much more interesting. And then in the end, you're physically fit, and you got to solve a murder mystery. If you want that idea, it's yours. Really? Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much, Kathy. Best of luck with the video. Thank you for coming back. Congratulations on everything. All right, folks, Chevy Ireland. We'll be right back in a moment. We'll see you in a second.